Dr. Nada, you were sentenced to 15 years, and Dr. Fatima Haji, you were sentenced to five years in prison. Uh, Dr. Uh, Neda Dave, I'm going to start with you. How did you react to the, to the sentence when it was handed down in Manama? Well, to begin with, it was a total shock. Uh, Fatima was with me here in the house. She came to support me. Uh, first, when I heard the verdict, I started to laugh, then cry, then laugh again. I went hysterical. Fifteen years in prison. For what? I don't know for what. I need somebody to answer me. Are, what happens years. now, Neda? What happens now? I mean, do you are you expecting authorities to arrest you? Are you free until there is an appeal? We're expecting expecting them to come and arrest us any minute. Any minute, they just can rush into the house and arrest us and detain us, similar to the first time, <clears throat> and horrify my kids. Because you were arrested once, you say you were tortured in detention, and you're now saying that these charges are, are, are fabricated, that you did nothing wrong during those three weeks of protests in Manama. Not at all. I didn't do anything wrong. Actually, I did something right. What I did is I, I, I followed the, the rules and protocols and the oath I swear on. I helped people. I volunteered in the medical tent to, to, to provide medical attention to the maximum number of people. Yeah. And that Dr. No I just want to get to, Nada, I want to get to Fatima Haji. You were sentenced to, to five years. You were in that hospital at the time. And you've heard the, the charges uh, that the Suleimaniya Medical Center was used for political purposes, that there were weapons there, that there were knives. Uh, that this was all designed to topple the regime. Uh, what exactly yeah. happened in that hospital during that time uh, when you were treating injured protesters? What were there? Was it being used for political reasons? Not at all. It's, uh, it's basically the main governmental hospital at the, at the island. So uh, ultimately, all the casualties and the injured uh, people uh, regardless if they are protesters or not, will end up uh, at the end of the day in the hospital. We, uh, the whole, the medical groups, doctors, nurses, and paramedics, we basically did our uh, our job, our duties as doctors and as professions. We received those people who needed help. We uh, helped them. We uh, tried to do our best, uh, though that the uh, number that we received were hundreds every day. Uh, and uh, we just, uh, you know, concise ourselves to our code of ethics. There were people who not wanted to help, and we helped them. That's so, all what happened. Yeah. Regardless so, the uh, weapons and uh, knives and etc., these are just, you know, a bunch of lies. We did not have any weapons or any sort of uh, uh, knives that we've used, uh, you know, just to take control of the hospital. So why do you think the government is doing this to, to you and your yeah. medical colleagues? Basically, we were witnesses. We were there during the events in February and March. We, were, uh, we saw the types and the numbers of injuries that came in the hospital. And uh, the main hospital was the focus, the hot focus for the media and the journals. So they, they all uh, end up coming to the hospital to see and uh, to reflect that to, the, to their medias and to their international uh, TVs, what's going on in the country. And it came to be that uh, we were there in the scene. Some of us cried on the videos, like mm -hmm. me. I, the, the only thing I came out is just crying on, on national TV. Um, the others were, some of them, they were talking that, uh, uh, about the types of injuries and the, the increasing number of the protesters. So, and, Fatima, uh, we you're were... saying that essentially you were being punished because you were witnesses to what the government did to the anti-government protesters. Exactly. And I want to ask they, you, Nada, what is, they, your, what is your family situation? Do you have children? What has been their reaction to all of this uh, as you've been tried and now sentenced to, to 15 years? Yeah. I have two girls, eight years old and six and a half. Yeah. They don't know anything. 
they are so much traumatized uh, because of my absence when I was arrested uh, during March till early April. Mm -hmm. They don't know anything. Uh, me and their father, we made sure uh, we keep them away of this. Yeah. Uh, and yet, with all the measures we took to ensure that they are out of this, out of focus, uh, still they are blaming me that, oh, mommy, you were gone for two months. You did not call. We never heard from you. How come you leave us alone? And yeah. it's still, it's still they wake up in the night crying, thinking that their mother is gone. How do you expect me to explain to my kids that I will be gone for 15 years? How can I just explain it to them? How can I tell them that the government is accusing me of being a criminal and a killer and a traitor? I have no way to defend myself, not in the court, not in the media. It's now. Now I decided to speak up. Dr. Nada Daif and Dr. Fatima Haji. Uh, Dr. Nada Daif was sentenced to 15 years in prison in a Bahraini court yesterday, and Dr. Fatima Haji to five years. We've, uh, we're, thank you so much for joining us live there from Manama with your reaction to these sentences. There is an appeal, uh, but uh, both doctors telling us there that they uh, expect arrest uh, at any moment there in, in Bahrain. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll stay in close touch with you with regards to what happens going forward as a result of this uh, trial. Thank you again.